Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. To the air right away is Allen. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. So a tough early challenge here. Second and long after the sack. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Allen now looks to throw. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he is going to have the Bills first down as he'll wind up getting the yards they needed on fourth and three. going to throw flushed out right and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down Hassan Reddick now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves but they're they're on pace for double digit sacks at this point but well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down aren't they so if you're the play caller you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens maybe some draws hard count use your voice inflection a little bit anything to try and slow that pressure down the seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Throwing now is Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And it appears they'll go for it here on fourth down. A big call on the game's opening drive. They're going to try and throw. Flush to his right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game, and this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Now Hurt's going to move him around. They'll try and start this drive in the air, eluding the pressure right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Hurt sets up to throw it. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. some movement before the snap and we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon that false start knocks him back behind the 10 now as they'll try again first and goal now they'll change things around before the snap
They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Steps away to his left. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Now Allen, and Diggs has it. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Allen to throw once more. Flushed out right. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So back to back incompletions and that has him staring at a third and 10. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. That is caught. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 23. From the gun, it's Allen. Escaping the pressure right. This one caught by Davis. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Here's Allen to throw it. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. On second down, here's Allen. Flush to his right. Diggs crossing the field and bringing it in. They'll still have a third and goal now despite picking up 13 yards on that pass play. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Setting up the screen for Cook. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. The kick by Bass is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. 
Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On first and ten, it's Swift. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. Now a play fake here on first down. On the move to his left. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now they'll change things up. On second down, Swift. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Allen swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he is out of bounds up around the 14-yard line. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. Here's Allen on first and 10, looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Allen. And Cook has it, left side. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second down and a yard. Now Allen again. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. Round left, Yeti. Mike, round left, Yeti. 
70 Ranger, 70 Ranger. 42 to my check, 42 to my. I got it. My 42, my 42. Come on, dude. No, Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be forced out of bounds shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. So when the defense complains about having to do pursuit drills in the heat of training camp, plug in this play. Excellent pursuit. Force the quarterback out of the pocket. He ends up trying to run for it. Instead, he goes out of bounds and loses yardage. That goes down as a sack for the defense. Play action. Here's Hertz. Steps away. Hertz fumbles it. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side. A little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force in completion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Allen again here on second and 10. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Buying time to his left. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because... Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Micah Hyde, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. On play action, Allen sliding out of the pocket. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. Flushed out right. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. 
So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. Made his first. This now from 42 yards out. The kick by Bass is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and a couple. Now Hurts looking to change the play. From the 36, Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Once again, it's Swift. And he gets it down to the 32. 57 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Now second and three. They go play action with Hertz. Rolling to his right. And they'll get this down to the 10. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Throwing his Hurts. Being chased out left. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. 
We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. Airing it out deep for Smith. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Bills are going to take.